So you got your first uh, NAS, maybe Snorgy, maybe QNAP, and you set it all up, linked it with your uh, Windows laptop, maybe your Mac, and uh, everything works just fine while you're at home. But when you go to work with your laptop, suddenly you can't access any more your data because you are not in your local network anymore. So then you read like, how do I access this data over the internet when I'm away, of home, away from the home? And then they say, yeah, you need to use Quick Connect. And then you do the Quick Connect and still nothing works. Or if it works, you need to go to web-based interface where you can move things around. But to be honest, who's doing that? Yes, they are saying like, oh, this DSM is new and shiny and you could, it looks so great and you can do this and that, but nobody really cares. <laughs> you just map your drive to your um, Windows and that's how you use it. You copy files, you paste files, you interact with those files. That's how you're going to use your NAS. So the question is, how do I access my uh, NAS, which is mapped to my, to my laptop remotely when I'm away at work? So there are two ways of doing that. Uh, one option would be uh, using WebDAV server. So that's going to trick your system that uh, it's actually a, for example, Z drive. You know how you got C drive, you got um, whatever X drive. This is going to be one of those drives uh, underneath the C drive. So it's going to look like physical drive. Unlike the map drive, which is actually is clearly says this network drive, this will be more looking like a um, physical drive, even if it's not, it's tricking the system. So to set this up, you will need to go to Packages Center, download the app on your Synology web dev server. Same on your laptop or computer, um, download Ride Drive, for example. That's one of the client option applications. You can go to this website um, and uh, see the full uh, instructions how to do that. So you're going to set it all up, create a connection, Mm, and you will have you will have a folder either on your Mac or on your Windows. You will see that drive there, so you can move files around and uh, play with the files like you would normally. Uh, that's fairly complicated to do. So I would recommend uh, going for Synology Drive option. So if you install Synology Drive server on your NAS, Synology Drive application on your uh, Windows, on your phone or tablet, uh, then you will get something like this. So the app, which is going to all the time synchronize a certain folder, just like a Dropbox is going to synchronize that folder. You can actually select which folder is not synchronized inside the main folder. You can also use this app for backing up. So you can actually say back up my C drive, or my D drive, certain folders, uh, not just synchronized. But you can also synchronize, just select the file as you can do some exclusions. You can say um, what files to back up, which ones to ignore what sort of sync you want. You want two-way sync, so whatever you put on the NAS goes to a computer, whatever you put on the computer goes to the NAS. You can also say that you want to keep those files only on the NAS, so uh, you'll see something uh, like this. If you go to shared folder, for example, you'll see that cloud symbol. It means you can see this file on your Windows, or um, but it's actually existing on the NAS. So this is some sort of shortcut only. So only if you try to open it, it's going to download it to your PC and then, and then it's going to open up. So this way you save space on your laptop. So if you've got SSD hard drive, you've got probably 100, maybe 200 gigabytes of space. So that's how every gigabyte counts really. So you can keep all those files on Snorgy, search those files on your computer and access them as, uh, as you need them. Uh, the other things what you're going to get with Drive, not only you'll have um, just simple sync. You also have um, version control. So if you do right click, go to Synology Drive, you can browse previous versions. So whenever you did some edits you, or someone else deleted some paragraphs from your CV or whatever, you can get this data back. So there is a version control as well built in. So the, this is why I would recommend uh, Drive up because you can have this uh, sa space saving mode you're going to have also the version control and then simple sync and the backup as well. Um, you can also uh, go to uh, as compared to the YouTube channel, you can see how to uh, set up this mobile app, how it's going to synchronize your files on your mobile phone. So you can actually always um, be able to access your files wherever you are, either on your mobile phone or your tablet, PC, or even web browser if you're completely with somebody else's uh, device. Um, I hope this was um, 
helping you to answer this question. If you've got any other questions, you can always go out and ask compares. Fill the form and write it inside. Send an email to info and ask compares and we can shoot a video like this so we can help you and we can help others. Cheerio.